Vegas. It might be best known for its casinos and big shows, but Sin City is in the middle of a massive tech makeover. Las Vegas has set itself the pretty spectacular target of becoming one of the world's leading smart cities. So what does that mean? Well, a lot of tech everywhere. All across Vegas, the lampposts and traffic lights are covered with smart devices like motion detection cameras, LiDAR scanners, infrared sensors and weather probes. And Las Vegas's trailblazing of this tech has seen it win not one, but two Smart City 50 awards in the last year. The tech looks at how people are living with the aim to make cities more efficient, safer and, well, just better. The smart sensors scattered around Vegas aim to monitor things like accidents, crime, public safety, traffic and parking. But the tech isn't just confined to street furniture. I'm on my way to meet Ashwini from one of the world's leading telecommunication companies, NTT. They've installed some tech at a tourist hotspot to help monitor crowd dynamics. So, this is the famous showgirl side. People love to come here and take pictures. So, by my count, we've got one, two, three, four sensors on that pole. Yes. To me, they look like CCTV cameras, but they're doing quite a lot more, aren't they? Absolutely. There's analytic software that's running off of the video feeds that we're getting, and that software is an analyzing the information that's coming through those cameras to be able to do things like counting the number of people in the area, mm -hmm. and then over a period of time, you're building statistics. That then helps the city make a lot of important decisions, saying, how often is this place being used? How many people are frequenting the place? Unlike CCTV that just records footage, the sensors at this showgirl sign sends pictures and sounds to a central data center, where the computer there analyzes all of the information. Then the computer can decide how to best deal with the situation, whether it's triggering a pre-recorded warning, please don't climb on the sign, <laughs> or noticing a dramatic shift in crowd behavior and alerting the police to a potential crime. But the sensors and smart tech of Vegas don't just keep an eye on crowds. I'm on my way to meet Noah Mayshall, whose company Waycare has been working with Nevada's Department of Transport to save lives. Like, what is going on here? What am I seeing? And you're seeing all the cameras that are monitoring traffic and incidents throughout the, the city. So this is real-time cameras that we're looking at. And there's some crashes that have already happened. This may look like your bog-standard traffic management centre, but here they use data gathered by the sensors around the city and freeways to create a clear picture of exactly what's happening to traffic in real time. And they combine that with information from the general public too. In this day and age, many people will go on Twitter and report to social media before they even call 911. So using all these sources of data, and we're able to start getting the identifications well before that call comes in. So that's interesting. You don't just get data from you know, your sensors. You're pulling things from social media as well. Yeah, so we look at all of the data out there, whether it's social media, Waze as a partner, and we've started now to use dash cams to be able to monitor operations on the road. You can actually use people's dash cams to get a live view of exactly what's going on on the road. Yeah. The central computer analyzes and maps all of this data, and it'll start to recognize that patterns of behaviors, like cars suddenly slowing down or changing lanes, could mean a potential accident. And state troopers like Cliff Fontaine are out on the roads using this information. Should we go out on patrol? Let's do say? that, yeah. If there was a crash, say, up at the I-15 in Sahara, and now what will happen is that will show up on my screen. I can tap on it, yep. and now it'll show me a map or camera feeds in that area. This enables you to know precisely where the incident has happened and sometimes, also what it looks like. Yeah, sometimes even down to just a couple of feet. But the tech doesn't just let emergency services know where accidents have happened. It can predict where they're going to happen before they do. So I can just glance over and see the red. This is where the AI is telling me that there's a possibility of an incident happening. So what I can do as a state trooper is position my car at the head of that traffic to mitigate a crash from happening, I'm stopping a crash before it happens. Yeah. Uh, the kind of uh, minority report situation. And we've shown through statistics by simply sitting out in the public with our lights on, 
we have reduced crashes significantly. Yeah. In fact, since the Department of Transportation started using this system, crashes in Vegas have reduced by 17%. I mean, it's kind of scary to think that there are machines that can predict that, but in real life scenarios, there are machines that can predict yeah. that. Mm -hmm. The data being generated from smart cities like Vegas, along with information from self-driving cars, delivery drones and the like, is becoming so vast that it's impossible to keep track of. But that's where companies like Turbine come in. Once based in Silicon Valley, the company has relocated to Vegas because this is the smart place to be. Las Vegas is open for business. <laughs> Brilliant. And they're willing to try things. Uh, it's not done in a haphazard way. They're very measured and careful. But decisions happen fast. And when they make the decision, you're off and running. David's company is a kind of global exchange for machine-generated data. It currently has over 30,000 feeds from public agencies across 80 countries. The idea is, is that a company who produces autonomous drones, for example, could take data from the network and incorporate it into their development so that the drones would know how to act when they come across an autonomous car. And everything is generating data. It's become so abundant that humans cannot keep up with it. So something had to be in the middle to manage all of that. I believe that certain cities will have these technologies, autonomous vehicles, not only on the ground, but in the sky and also robots, and augmented reality. It'll come in bits, and I believe it'll start over the next few years. Wow, that I, soon. It really is that absolutely, soon. Absolutely, yeah. So it seems like Vegas's rep for Elvis weddings and slot machines could soon be a thing of the past, as it takes us all into the future, whether we like it or not.